Hi everybody! So I wanted to post a short prediction video for Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 3. I want to give credit to commenter Scott Higgins who in the comment section wrote this prediction that I thought was wonderful and that I'm hoping will come to life. So we didn't see the Night King by the end of Episode 2 which is a definite sign that he is not there. So. There is a theory that he's going over to King's Landing, but no, I trust in Scott. Boom, he's going to the Citadel, to Old Town. This is why I guess they forced these lines. That's what death is, isn't it? Forgetting. Being forgotten. What are the memories, the history that man has written throughout time? Where are all these books? in the citadel in Old Town. This is also probably why Sam was so eager to say that he stole some books from the citadel. And this works very very well with one of our previous predictions that the citadel will burn like the library of Alexandria which will force this old decadent ivory tower institution that uses knowledge only to sustain itself, to lose its hold on knowledge and have knowledge spread all throughout the realm. If this indeed happens, we will post a video comparing this event to the burning of the library in Alexandria and also to the dissemination, proliferation of knowledge throughout the end of the Middle Ages through universities. So stay tuned for that. And another thing that I want to talk about is who will live and who will die. So I think next episode, Grey Worm is a definite. <laughs> I think <laughs> Never want he will die. He will die. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Bye, Grey Worm. Be nice to know you. Tormund, I think will also die. Noga, boom, shout out to Noga. She predicts that he will die saving Brienne. A lot of people think that Brienne will die because she was knighted, but uh, 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 I think she has a place in the new world next to Sansa. There's also, there have also been all, all kinds of predictions that there will be danger in the crypts, right? A lot of dead people in the crypts. Gilly maybe might die. This little girl for sure will die and be reborn. Theon will probably die a hero's death, maybe saving Sansa. Grr. The Hound might die, I'm not sure, but the people who are safe for now, Jon, Tyrion, Sansa, Arya, I think Jorah too, I think he will end up as the Lord Commander of the new standing army that the Night Watch will become. Sam will stay alive, Gendry might die, you know, reminds me of one of the rules. What rules? You don't... Jesus Christ, you don't know the rules? Uh, in the movie Scream. There are certain rules that one must abide by in order to successfully survive a horror movie. For instance, number one. You can never have sex. But Arya, no. Arya will survive. I think Varys will die, but I'm not sure he will die next episode. I think he will have to burn as a, as a traitor. Maybe he will start to broach Sansa. I think Daenerys will kill him. Daenerys, I think, too, will survive the battle. She will have to die later on. And Davos, uh, I think Davos will end up retiring. He will not die. He will survive. Jaime? I hope he survives. So I think we'll have less deaths than we anticipate. Also the guy, the third guy from the Night's Watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's toast. He's toast. Ghost. I don't know. So the way that I see it, the entire episode will be the Battle of Winterfell and at the very end we'll see all those smug maesters. <laughs> a crippled boy claims to have seen dead men on the march beyond the wall. Thanks to the magical help of a raven with three eyes that made fun of magic. If you tell every maester in the Citadel to search every word of every faded scroll about the Long Night, they may find something that lets us defeat the army of the dead for good. Ha, ha, ha.
don't forget the prophet Lodos, who promised that the drowned god would rise up and destroy Egon the Conqueror. Oh, <laughs> Lodos. <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing now? Who is laughing now? I can't wait to see it. So this is it for this prediction video. Boom. We'll see you all in our review of episode three and all the videos are coming up next week. Bye everybody. So I wanted to let you know about the Thrones effect. Game of Thrones conquered pop culture. This is the definitive book about the Game of Thrones phenomenon. It's a collaborative book with seven other YouTubers and two other God Academy collaborators and we take a bird's eye view about what Game of Thrones means from all kinds of angles and what has made it so successful. Is it the psychoanalytical angle, the way that we empathize with the characters? Is it the historical political angle? Is it so good because of the inspirations that preceded A Song of Ice and Fire and Game of Thrones? Is it the fact that it allows us to escape to a different world from all our trials and tribulations? Is it that it allows us to connect to other like-minded people from all over the world? Is it the characters that we can interpret so differently? Is it the fact that it deconstructs fantasy and creates a whole new genre? All of this and more is discussed in the Thrones effect. So if you want to get the ebook version, boom, the link is in the description. The audiobook and print edition hard copy coming soon. It's a very enjoyable read. Each chapter takes you to a whole different point of view. Each chapter has its own book of view, remind you of something? Book is below in the description. Enjoy!